Hello, this video is for integrating your Postman with OpenAI API. So if you want to use any chat GPT models like GPT-4, GPT-3.5 Turbo, any model and you want to consume it with Postman API, you can use this approach. So what first we need to do is that I'll create a new request in my existing collection. It is not dependent on any programming language as it's just an API. So I'll add a request. Then the method will be post because I'm gonna uh, post the URL. Uh, so we need two things here. The first thing we need is the URL. And the second thing we need is the secret key for authorization. So I'll go to Chrome. I'll go to OpenAI API. And this is the link we have openai api overview i'll click on this platform.openai.com and if you have not logged in then you need to log in with uh, with your um, email account and then on top right you will see this gear icon you need to click on this gear icon so on the left side you will see api keys we need to click on that and create a new secret key I'll name my secret key as postman test and project I'll select as default project so once these two things are done I'll create a new secret key so I'll copy this secret key and I'll paste it in my notepad for future reference so I can use it in my postman so once that's done, I'll go to OpenAI chat completion. This is for getting the URL. So once you type in the Google, you will see this link chat completion chunk object. This one we need to click on here. Yeah, so this is the API documentation on how you can use the URL. This part you will see we have diff the model is GPT-4, so I can use any model. We have options also, like we have GPT-4, 3.5 Turbo, all those things. So we can choose any model. And instead of Python, I'll choose as curl because I don't want to make it as program specific. It should be universal. So I'll copy this curl and paste it in my Postman post request. So this is my URL. Yeah, this is my URL. And in the header, you will see I have, I'm using authorization as a BLR type. Uh, so I'll add my secret key in a second. In the body, you will see first we have is the model model will change on depending on what you choose here so we are choosing gpt 40 you can choose any any model you want and then you will see messages so here you will see messages is of two rules is of type two rules one is developer and one is user for simplicity purpose i'm just i will remove this developer and we'll just have user role and the message i'll put up uh, descriptive disc, i'll put a descriptive prompt like what is the capital of france yeah so for simplicity purpose, I removed the developer role and just had a role with user and the content is what is the capital of France. Now I need to add my secret key. So I'll go to authorization and by default, OpenAI uses BRA token. So I'll click on BRA token and I'll copy this API key and paste it here in the token. Remove it and paste in the token. So my uh, URL with post request is ready. I have my body complete. I have also added my secret key in the authorization. So I'm ready to send it. So once I send it, you can see we got the response as 200 okay i see the capital of france is paris now you can play around with it you can change the body and you can have different prompts for example tell me about about the earth and mars Let's send this request again Yeah, so you can see content is much longer now. Certainly Earth and Mars are two planets, so it is a big content, yeah. So it's working fine for smaller response and bigger response as well. And we're using GPT-40, but if you want, you can use other models as well. So this is how you integrate Postman with OpenAI API. If you have any questions, if you're getting any errors while doing this, please let me know. And if you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your time.